Joe Biden, he continues to race further and further to the left to appease his far left socialist fringe friends in the D.C. sewer, the swamp, like ordering a study to look at the effects of judicial reform in what is just a step closer towards packing the court and turning the judicial branch into an arm of the Democratic Socialist Party. Also developing tonight, Biden announcing plans all U.S. troops will be withdrawn from Afghanistan by September the 11th, 2021. Here to react to this, much more, South Carolina Senator. I'm not sure if Tim Scott's not the senior senator, though. I don't know. He's, he's he, uh, he thinks he's, he was on my he's radio show. He said, um, so you see trillions and trillions in reckless spending. It's not for infrastructure and it's not for emergency relief. You see amnesty, open yeah. borders, and, and abusive cages Biden is building. Then you see appeasement, you see aggression now by China and Russia and appeasement towards the Iranian mullahs and now pulling out of Afghanistan. What's your overall feeling about uh, where we're headed? Uh, Joe Biden's become an incredibly destabilizing American president. Uh, He took a border that was uh, pretty calm and turned it into chaos. Uh, The Mideast had been transformed on Trump's watch where the Arabs were working with the Israelis and had Iran in a box. He's taken Iran and let them out of the box. They're talking about enriching uranium at 60% now, which is a direct threat to the existence of the state of Israel. Uh, The Russians are challenging him in the Ukraine. And now he is withdrawing forces in Afghanistan against sound military advice. To all of you who are listening, you remember where you're at on September 11th, 2001. Our military told President Biden that if you withdraw all of our forces, Al Qaeda and ISIS will come roaring back. Um, Afghanistan would disintegrate into civil war, and we can avoid all of that by having three to five thousand American forces, making sure that ISIS and Al Qaeda never come back to hurt us. He rejected that advice. Afghanistan is going to deteriorate pretty rapidly. Al Qaeda and ISIS are going to come back. He's paving the way for another 9-11. I think Joe Biden on foreign policy has been completely incompetent and destabilizing. What he's done with the Iranians is a threat to everything we've accomplished in the Mideast. I just hope and pray that I'm wrong. But I know what was going to I knew what was going to happen in Iraq. Afghanistan is going to be worse. Let me ask you this. There's never been a major political party that has turned this radical. New Green Deal, reckless spending, all yeah. the things that, that we, we talk about. Now, if my political right. instincts, if I've learned anything in 33 years of doing this, I would tell you that there's going to be a major backlash. And the big first test, whether or not I'm right, will be in 2022. You couldn't pick a more perfect bellwether map for the U.S. Senate. I think the Republicans have a good chance of taking control of the House. That would be good. But in the Senate, you got Florida, you got Georgia, you got North Carolina, you got New Hampshire, you've got Ohio, you've got Arizona, you've got Wisconsin. Uh, Those are all the states that matter for 2024, but you got Senate races in 2022. Your thoughts on what the agenda should be moving forward and who should lead it? Well, I think President Trump is the leader of the party, and I'm hoping he will come out fairly soon with an American first agenda that includes simple things like finish the wall and make sure that we're safe when it comes to foreign policy. Keep the pressure on Iran. Don't take it off. So I hope we can come out with an agenda led by President Trump that will unite the Republican Party. But this idea of court packing destabilizes the court. They're talking about expanding the number of Supreme Court justices. Justice Breyer, a uh, a Democratic appointee, and Justice Ginsburg said it'd be a bad idea. Just imagine every time you change power in Washington, you change the number of justices on the court. It becomes a political football. He's let the Iranians run wild. He's given them you know, a second lease on life. He's withdrawing our forces in Afghanistan that would pave the way for another 9-11. He's taken a border that was pretty damn secure and created chaos. I think all this is going to be on the ballot in 2022. If we can get our act together as Republicans, we're going to come roaring back. All right. Senator Lindsey Graham.